Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you about bird injury imager. Definition. Mechanical trauma to head due to birding. Birding process. Skull injury. Caput susidenum. Subcalial hematoma. Cephalo hematoma. Calvaria fracture. Intracranial hemorrhage. Subdural hematoma. Most common subarachnoid hemorrhage, intraventricular hemorrhage, epidural hematoma, intraparenchymal hemorrhage. Hypoxic ischemic brain injury sometimes considered as trauma, but not covered here. Most common science symptom: caput susitanum. Very common after vaginal delivery. Edema, soft tissue, superficial pitting, subcalyac hematoma, firm, proclean mass, other signs and symptoms usually seen in pre existing maternal artery structure, instrument delivery, possible for vacuum extraction, shape of pelvic disproportion. Bird weight more than 4 kilo kg, oligotramiosis, primipirity, long de delivery, and prolonged or unusual eruption labor. Epidemiology, subdural hematoma was seen in 26 to 63 of the Uncomplicated vaginal delivery in several hematomas occur in 1% of our birth. Increased incident with forceps and or vacuum assisted delivery. Epidural hematoma are rare. Imaging skull hematoma, caput susibum, in superficial soft tissue, cross suture and midline. Subcalar hematoma deep to epicranial appendicitis, cross suture and midline. Cephal hematoma subperior still limit by suture. And classify over time. Calibrate fracture. Usually non displaced. The press fracture often has smooth matching. Intracranial hemorrhage, subdural hematoma are more common, usually small, without associated muscle pain. Epidural hematoma are rare and usually associated with skull fracture. Hypoxic ischemic injury considered separately. Non contrast in a one day old. Infant status post vaginal delivery with vacuum and forcep as is so much scar swelling is superior still cephalo hematoma, subcalyo hematoma deep to the epicranial aponibros and issues overlying caput susidenum. Also, notice small subdural hemorrhage along the Dentorial left leg. Non contrasting CT in the same patient demonstrate subdural hemorrhage along the dentorium and in posterior portion. Left lateral view of a non contrasting CT informed in the same patient demonstrate. An oblique oriented non displaced fracture of the left palatal lobe. T2 of my in the same patient, so a small left sided epidural hematoma in association. With the scalp fracture, no brain parenchyma abnormality was seen. This was many conservatively give the small size and lack of mass effect. 
non-contraction NCT of the head in a two-day-old infant, so a smooth concave depression of the left anterior paratopone without evidence of intracranial hemorrhage. Though this neonate was delivered by C-section, the baby head was reportedly stuck in the cervix and had to be manually pushed up into abdomen through the vagina during delivery. Left entry oblique view from a 3D reformate CT of the same patient further demonstrate a smooth depression of the left part of the bone due to its similarity to the form ping pong ball. This morphology is referred to as a ping pong fracture. Treatment. The breast scar fracture can be treated neurosurgically, though vacuum, breast bump, breast bump, reduction and spontaneous resolution have been described. Thank you.